Now let's look at how to use the midpoint formula. So how we derive the midpoint formula. Any two arbitrary points P1, P2, P1 denoted as x1, y1, P2 denoted as x2, y2. And then midpoint is the middle of the P1, P2. We denote it as capital M with coordinates x, y. So if we draw the vertical line from the middle point and then draw the horizontal line from starting point P1 and then do the same thing, draw the horizontal line from the midpoint, draw the vertical line from the end point P2, and then we form this two uh, right triangle. And then we can see these two right triangles, they are identicals, right? And then these two sides should equal. So where the x minus x1 is coming from, this is x and y, so this point A should have the same x coordinates at the midpoint because this is a vertical line, right? And then should have the same y coordinates <coughs> as P1. So that's why point A with coordinates x, y1. Same idea for the point 2 because it's a horizontal line of this point, so have the same y coordinates at the midpoint and has the same x coordinates of the P2. Right? Therefore, the difference between P1 and A is x minus x1. Right? And then the length of this side, MB, that should be x2 minus x. And then these two lengths should equal. And then we solve this linear equation. We both side add an x and then add an x1. All right, so we got 2x equals x1 plus x2. Therefore, we can solve x equals one half of x1 plus x2. So basically, x coordinates of the midpoint is the average of the two endpoints P1, P2's x coordinates. Okay, average the two x coordinates. And the same applies to the y coordinates. Okay, same. Y minus y1 equals y2 minus y. <coughs> both sides add a y, and then both sides of equation add a y1. So we got a 2y equals y1 plus y2, and a self y equals 1 half y1 plus y2. So the y coordinates of the midpoint, also the average of the two endpoints y coordinates. So that is the midpoint formula. Okay, so it's a theorem. It's already been proved, so you can use it directly. So now let's try some exercise. Find the midpoint of a line segment from P1 to P2. Okay, and a plot P1, P2, and their midpoint. So let's calculate it first. So we, if we denote midpoint with x and y coordinates, okay, and then x coordinates of the midpoint equals half of the two endpoints x coordinates, right? That's negative five plus three. That's negative two over two, which give us negative one. And then the y coordinates of the midpoint, that's half of the two y coordinates of the endpoints. That's 5 plus 1. That's given us 6 over 2, which is equals 3. So the midpoint coordinates is 91, 3. Sorry, 91, positive 3. All right, let's graph it and see. Set up rectangular coordinate system, the intercept 0, 
and put a scale. That's a two, three, four, five, six, right? So that's two, three, four, five, six. Okay, same thing. One have to two. Ninety-four, ninety-six. Okay, ninety-five, five. Go left five, and then go up five. So it's here. That's P one, ninety-five, positive five. P two, three one, right three, up one. So that's P two, three one. And then if you use straight line, connect these two points. Okay, my hand. Graph is not accurate, and then the middle is about here, right? Middle at point that's 91, 3. Okay, so let's look at a more accurate one. Okay, that's more accurate graph, so it's showing clearly 91, 3. It is the middle of the line segment P1, P2. And the calculation is showing the same result.